<laughs> Hello, welcome into Dead Island 2. Oh, it's really good, guys. Uh, this might be one of my games of the year. It's that good. Um, uh, hello. I missed. <laughs> Hang on. Oh. <laughs> Um, yeah, YouTube may not like this video, I don't care. I wanted to show this game because not only is it one of the best games this year, but also, it's finally out! <laughs> After nearly 10 years, wasn't it? Um, I think they first announced this. I've got to give a massive thank you to the amazing play on- Oh my god! <laughs> and Deep Silver, who gave me a code for this. Hi! <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Oh, it's so good. It's so good. We're going to get the sword out. Why not? Oh, <laughs> just annihilate that one. Dodge out the way. Okay, the runners are a little bit more difficult to hit. Oh, that's a screecher. Hang on. Get off. Okay, yeah, I died. Um, thankfully, in Dead Island 2, um, dying doesn't really make much of a difference, so you can just jump straight back in, which I'm more than happy with. Uh, right, could we um get out the shotgun? Uh, now, yes, I am at the point now where I've got guns, which is really nice, uh, because yes, uh, this game I've put about 10 hours into so far, since I got a code on the 20th. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so good. Can you do a finisher with a gun? Oh no, hang on, let me just punch. Okay, him in the face. And then go for a kill. <laughs> oh, it's so brutal. Uh, okay, so uh, the gore system in this game is the best gore system in any video game ever. Uh, you can literally take a zombie apart piece by piece. And I, I'm not kidding when I say that. So if I was to come over here and, and grab my uh, knuckle dusters, um, you can see uh, this zombie's got, you know, a, a, a stomach right there, right? Let's just give this a little punch. Um, You see that? Uh, yeah, you can keep going. Uh, you can break down muscle, uh, you can break down bones, uh, you can get right in there and see all the intestines, all the innards. It's lovely. Family friendly video. Uh, I am <laughs> I am so stoked about this. Uh, I was hoping I could get one that looks relatively normal and show you what that looks like. Uh, but we did run into one of those screamers who are really bloody annoying. Uh, there's normally always a big guy in here, right? Oh, there's one. Hang on. Right, we've got a runner here. So if I was to dodge out the way of the runner, it gives me the ability to do a parry. So you've got to time it just right. I want to get on level ground here to be able to pull this off. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Did that work? That worked. Okay, right. Come up behind. And then we're just going to go for a couple of hits to the face there. Knocked off their headphones. <laughs> we're just going to wait for them to get back up because there's something you need to see. Right. That's it. Go for it. Hit me! Stop trying to hit me and hit me! Hello. <laughs> Guys, I love this game. It's so good. I, I really, really enjoy it. It's amazing. Uh, best game of the year. Uh, until Starfield comes out, because Starfield will be the game of the year. For me, anyway. Um, oh, 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 it's so good. Right, come on. I, literally, it's the best thing in this game. It's just running up to a zombie and beating the shit out of it. <laughs> That's that's all there is to this game. It's literally just beat up zombie the video game. Oh, right in the face. Now, if you do it sometimes, they'll actually lose their jaw and it's insane. Oh my god. So if I was to hit them in the leg, for instance, with a foot, right? Let's hit them in the foot. You can actually see all of the uh, muscle and bone inside. So we just keep on going. And now it's down to muscle. And we broke the foot. <laughs> okay. Let's go into the stomach. Uh, there you go. And into the face. Let's, let's keep hitting the head. See what we can do here. You can actually see the inside of the skull. And I, I know, I know YouTube will hate me for this. Uh, which is why I have a Patreon. Um, or there's going to be a PayPal link in the description below if you want to donate. Because <laughs> there's not going to be any ads on this video. Um... Yeah, that would be really great. Thanks, guys. Actually, could we go inside here? I think there's a little quest or something in here, isn't there? Let's head inside. Now, I do have a gun. Um, I do have a rifle here. So let's grab this out. Now, 
Would I say it's good to use guns in this game? Uh, yeah, they're definitely viable. Um, they're overkill. I honestly prefer using melee, but you can do stuff like that, where you can take a leg out and then just walk up on them and punch them in the head and then stamp. <sighs> right. So I, I want to explain a couple of things because a lot of people are going to be comparing this to Dying Light, uh, which is made by the people who made the original Dead Island games. Uh, this, of course, is made by Dan Buster, uh, who have done a fantastic job here. <coughs> But this game is not open world per se, so you have these massive zones. So currently I'm in the hills zone, um, there's a zone with a hotel in it, there's a zone with a movie studio and surrounding areas. So if you're looking at this thinking it's going to be an open world game, it's not as open world as I was expecting. But the first Dead Island wasn't fully open world either, if I remember correctly, it was a very similar setup to this. Um, can we break these open? Oh god, I forgot to break down the alarm because yeah, that's a thing. Now that's going to be calling every zombie into this direction. Ah, there you go. We've got a walker in here. Let's sneak up on this one actually with the axe. Hey, I'd like to ask you a question. I missed. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Oh, straight across the gut. Get back off. Oh, that one melted. Okay, come on. Ah. Oh my god. Back up. Let's get out the samurai sword. Let's go. Oh, missed. Okay, yeah, the runners can dodge, which is not good. Okay. Oh, that was a good hit. <laughs> right, come on. Ah, sit down. So I'm currently playing as Danny, who is a punk girl. She's very fancy. I love her outfit. Um, massive shout out to Deadly Steph on Twitter. Um, yeah, she's uh, super cool. Uh, so that's who I'm playing as. But you can play as a multitude of different characters, which is nice. Uh, I'm going to run up on these guys. Can I get both? Okay, right. Can I go for a stomach hit? There you go. Oh, you just ram it in there. <laughs> oh, straight across the face. Oh, guys, this is this is it. This is the whole game. This is just the whole game. Oh, that's something I can show you. So... Uh, not only do you have workbenches, which that isn't, I thought that was, um, but you have a lot of different stuff you can collect in here. Because yes, you are going to be crafting and repairing your own weapons. That is very similar to the original Dead Island and Riptide. So currently it's night time. Now, the thing with this game is every time you go to a different zone, it's a preset time. So there is obviously daytime in this game and it looks gorgeous in daylight, which is amazing. <laughs> oh, <just kidding. laughs> Oh, yeah, baseball bat's amazing. Uh, this baseball bat is also, um, yeah, corrosive, as you can see. Just, what? I Yeah, it, it's, it's amazing. They really definitely focused on the idea that um, all the different aspects of electricity, fire, everything has a action and reaction. So you could soak a zombie with a fire hydrant, for instance, and then run in there with um, an electric weapon, like uh, this rake that I have here, uh, and then you can take them out. Also, locked doors are an issue, because you can literally just knock them down. Uh, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Hang on. One second. Right, let's try this thing out. Now, they all have their own separate animations for a heavy attack. So if I was to run up to this uh, shambler here, and then we're just going to... Oh, they're dead. It's that powerful. That's not what I was intending to do. Um, I was hoping to get a heavy attack, because once you get one of those... Okay, we have a bloater over there. Those things spew corrosive acid. So we're just going to dodge that guy for a while, I think. I don't really want to mess with him right now, because they, they're massive bullet sponges. I think the only thing that is a negative for me in this game uh, is the fact that... Uh, get off! Uh, is the fact uh, that chargers and the, those big guys are just bullet sponges and um, weapon sponges. Honestly, they're a little bit OP, um, and you can't do any physical damage to them until you've killed them and then you can do all the cool like um you know taking off legs and stuff which is uh, a little bit disappointing it was something that i was kind of hoping you could like break them down like these guys for instance you can set them on fire and stuff no problem but um they're a little bit tanky for my liking uh we've got this guy this is a swarm walker and they've got like a bee's nest inside them which is interesting so we take that one out and then go for a heavy attack on this one now i'm hoping to get a good heavy attack with this shambler. Right. 
Oh, I was hoping this weapon would do what I was hoping it would do. So if I go to um, this bow staff, for instance, and then I find a zombie. Let's have a bit of a walk around, see what we can find. Okay, I think we have to go through this area to be able to get out of here, right? Oh, hang on. No, I can go through here. This is one of the safe houses you get very early in the game. Um, are they going to let me through? I'm hoping they do. Because there's a trader in here, right? Oh, no. I'm not allowed back in. I won't, I won't say any more than that. <laughs> okay. You'll just have to find that out by playing the game. Um, right. Let's go. Let's go this way. I, I think I've worked my way around this mansion that I needed to go through. Uh, okay. We should be fine now. Let's head down here. Yeah, oh, there's a ton of loot as well. Also, car batteries are a really fun weapon. And that's something we may find later. What is that? Okay, we've got a uh, runner. Oh, that's a screamer. Shit. Hang on. Ah. Gotta push through. Really? Ah. Okay. Get off. Oh, wait. I've not seen one of them before. Hang on. Have a pipe bomb. What, they're still st Oh no, okay, they're vulnerable. Okay, yeah, uh, we have a ton of zombies here. This is not gonna end well for me. Ugh, back off. Uh, let's see, do I have electrifying? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Get fried. Ugh. One thing, combat does feel weighty, which is really nice. Ugh. Get down. Okay, I may have to swap over to the gun here. I'm surrounded. Oh, it took off his hand. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, the screamers. Jesus Christ, they take a lot of hits. As you, oh my God, hang on. She's getting a bit too close to my liking right now. Hang on. Let's go for a couple of body shots. Back up. If I can go for a leg, that would be really helpful right now. Oh, we got a shocking walker. Hang on. Uh, let's go for our bow staff again. Hi. Come on. Got ya. Come on. <laughs> oh, it's so brutal. I love it. What are you? Oh, you're another screamer. Okay. I'm going to go for the legs. Oh, my God. They really push you. Get fried. Okay. Right, they're down. Uh, could I go for um, the sledgehammer? Oh, God, the sledgehammer's fun. Hello. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Ah. Oh. The sledgehammer, very useful, that's all I'm going to say. So you've got a couple of different throwable items. Like, I'm currently using the pipe bomb and the shurikens that are electrified, which are really nice. Um, but let's say, for instance, I wanted to take the zombies over here. Um, I can. Uh, now, you can see this is electrified because there is a water thing there. And we can turn that on and off, which is really nice. So um, you can use that and then electrify zombies. And then the charge will actually go between them. Which is great. So we have to go through the sewage system to get to Santa Monica. That's currently my quest right now. We've got another bloody screamer. Oh, that is a... Yeah, that's a crusher. That's not good. Right, I'm leaving. Can we get through here? Uh, no. Oh, my God. There's, there's so many. <laughs> there's so many. Oh, my God. Yeah, you can see those guys are ficking massive. Get off. Uh, okay. Right, the crusher does a jumping attack. Now, that is very useful for me, because it also affects the other zombies. I need to move. So, yeah, they do that kind of pounding move there, but they also do the jump attack, which... But, oh, that deactivates their move. That's useful. Didn't know that. Right, let's go sledgehammer at this point. Jump. Okay, yeah, you jump over those, and they normally do it tw twice. Okay, he's stunned. Just going to come in here with a sledgehammer. Oh, put the other way. <laughs> oh, God. Jump. Jump! Oh, it's like bloody Mario! Right, um, I have an idea. I'm going to lure them up back up here and then get them into the electricity. I'm also going to take a couple of pot shots with my shotgun. That'll lower him a little bit. You can actually see that cloves takes effects, which is really nice. I'm just going to throw that pipe bomb. <laughs> I think I just took down two zombies. I think you... Yeah, okay. So you can take out their legs with a gun, but if normal weapons don't seem to have the effect that they normally would with crushers. Uh, ooh. 
Oh, a Bowie knife. I think I'm full, though, annoyingly. Uh, so we do have an infantry system, as you can see here. Uh, so I can always dump something. Let's dump uh, the chef's knife. Military, let's dump that. I don't need that. Right, I can scrap it as well. So I can get some stuff out of that. And then I can go for the Bowie knife, because Bowie knives are really fun. Uh, so if I was to go for that one, and then back up. Okay, she's down. Right. Going to come in for some heavy hits on her head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, these ones are ridiculous. As long as you have stamina, you can just go nuts with them. Right. Screw you, firstly. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, God. Oh, it's one of my favorite moves in the game. Love it. That also fries them almost instantly. Is that a runner? Oh, my God. <laughs> no, get away. <laughs> Get off! Oh. Okay, so you probably noticed there, we've just unlocked a new ability. Dash Strike. So if we were to open up this. So you've got a leveling system here. And you unlock these different cards. Uh, and we've got Survivor, um, you've got different abilities. Now I'm hoping it's one of these. Right, uh, take the uh, take the fight to them, dash forwards and strike weak zombies. Uh, oh, sorry, strike zombies leaving them weakened. So currently we've got a ground pound. I'm going to go for that, I think, for a while. We've got some water, which could be really useful, because I can do that. <laughs> oh, I love all the systems in this game working together. That's That's just amazing. Hey! Oh, hang on, I think I've got a thing here. Hey, you! Yeah, yeah, voice activation. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing! Hello! Where's she gotten? <laughs> I forgot that was a thing! Oh, that's amazing! Oh, hang on, no, I'm using, he's electric, I can't use that. Right, screw you first, he's gonna charge. Who's there? I wouldn't try anything. Jesus! Jesus! Oh, help me! Quick, get us up! Tricks up my sleeve. I'll, uh, I'm back. Danny, I'm in your debt, Patton. Hey, no, no need. Just glad I got to you on time. What was that bulging bag of blood? It's me. Bursters, I call them. Like walking bombs. Welcome to Shangri La. Oh, it's okay. You can leave your shoes on. Uh, cool. Oh, shit. Sorry. It's a mass maid's day off. This place is class. How long you been down here? Oh, uh... How long? Yeah. Long time. Oh, after the war, people don't like my face. Sure. People are dicks when you don't fit in. Yeah. When did you serve? Gulf War? I flew helicopters. My bird got shot down. Yeah. Could have been a lot worse. So, you're a big film buff, eh? No, why? Um... <laughs> <laughs> I gotcha. Yeah, man, no shit, huh? I like the movies. You know, I get a little bit, you know, obsessed maybe sometimes. Oh. You like horror movies? Sure. Less now. Yeah, man, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, why don't we watch Omen a Kill, man? Omen a Kill, only one of the greatest movies ever made. I've only seen it like us. Yeah. Many times, man. Emma, I just came from her place. No fucking way. Emma John, she's still here? What's she like? I hear she's really great. Well, 
she's going through it just now. Hey, plenty of room in that big pile of rocks. You should mosey on over and join him. Tell him Danny sent you. What? No. Why would I do that? I mean, this is my home. Go on, say you will. Sure, and they could use your skills over there. I really want to watch Omen to Kill, man. Huh? That's a really great movie. Come on, sit yourself down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find the DVD. It was here somewhere. I, I was only watching it the other day. Where is Omen? To, to kill. Yeah. Found it. Uh. Come on. Can you please watch it with me? I would, boy. But I've got a doctor's appointment I can't miss. Can I get to Santa Monica through these sewers? Maybe. I mean, it's a long way. Right. Well, best get a move on then. You know, I could, uh... Yeah, maybe I... I could, uh, just... If I could, uh... Yes. I'm sorry, I... I really need to watch Omen and Kill. Enjoy your movie night. I got this. You want to follow the signs for the Venice Storm Tank? I nearly changed my name to Storm once. <laughs> See ya. Okay, as you saw there, um, I wanted to let that play out because the cutscenes in this game are not only beautiful honestly the graphic quality in the cutscenes is is amazing uh, but also just because yeah the, the acting's really good uh, and that goes for all of the cutscenes i've seen so far uh, they just do a really bloody good job um right so i'm gonna leave it there i think that's a, a good showing of what you can expect with dead island 2 if you enjoyed dead island 1 and riptide and dying light even uh, you're going to absolutely love this. Uh, it is really bloody good. A massive thank you again goes out to Play On, uh, who are fantastic. I, I love you guys over there. Uh, you're doing a great job. Uh, but until next time, that's me. Out. Bye, guys.